Hello, internet people. Oh, I'm so excited to be here today. So today we're going to talk about, uh, this is session three. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I got my debt payment together and how that looks. But let's pick a thing first. Let's see what it is. If people sat outside and looked at the stars each night, I bet they live a lot differently. Bill Watterson. That's very good. I'm filming this at night, so after this, I'm probably going to go for a walk. But we're going to go through what I did with my money when I got paid. So this is, I got paid on the 13th, which is a Saturday. Um, I get paid thirteen oh three ninety three every payday. And I have struggled with this, guys. I am struggling with this. So you can be with me and struggle with me. Okay, so... I made that money and I decided to do the color coding because I thought that would be good. So I am paying my Chase Southwest, which you can see here. And then I am paying my Starbucks, which is here. And I am paying my HELOC, which is here. And then I'm paying TJ Maxx, which is here. And my Discover card, because you know, can't discover that I owe all this money. And then I have a sinking fund that is actually through my Capital One. That's for my insurance and taxes on the cars. So that's $200 that goes, it just sucks right out every month, um, which left me $474.48 out of my paycheck. Uh, then I had life insurance that gets withdrawn on the 16th of the month and charity also. So now I'm at $330.33. I decided, okay, well, we need about $200 for groceries, right? So here's my little envelope. I got it from the budget mom. This is an old one. As you can tell, I've used it before, but never wrote on the back of it. So I will be depositing cash stuffing today, $200. One, two, oof, that's the wrong way. One, two, three, four, five is 150, 100, 200 dollars guys. So we're gonna be putting that in there. We are not living on our credit cards right now. We are completely 100% trying to go cash. Um, with that being said, I have 130.33 left for my gas, um, which I have to fill up twice, and I think my husband will have to fill up once. So hopefully that will be enough. So we're gonna see. We're just gonna see. <laughs> The other thing is, is I know people do transfer Tuesdays. I did receive a little bit of a check on uh, Saturday for $5.59. I immediately put that towards my Victoria's Secret since that's the one on my list. Um, guys, what I did is I actually did this debt payment tracker and I figured out how much if I just paid the minimum on everything, how much would I have to have? So minimum payments are $8.25 a month. So I actually scheduled all of these to come out of my bank account so that I knew that they were taken care of. So I didn't have to think about it this month, right? So if you look, I have every single one in here right now. They're all in here. Because we're really going towards a really, like we're gonna hit this seriously. Um, so the other thing is, is I was doing a savings challenge. So this is the numbers, you know, you put your numbers in and you put it all in here. Guys, we are going to unstuff these really quick. Um, and this cash is actually going to go, it's going to go in the bank so that I can go ahead and pay down some more of my credit card debt. We are serious in the Walker household about this. We are dead serious. We are not messing around. Um, any little bit of, like we're really, <laughs> we're seriously selling everything that the dogs think they're next, seriously. Um, I have sold a couple things on Macari, uh, Facebook Marketplace in the last week. I'm waiting for those deposits to come in. Um, you guys will see those next week. And then I will go ahead and literally that all that money is going to pay down debt. Um, we are not messing around with this at all. As you can tell, these numbers are all messed up. These, does anyone else hate that when your money's not faced right? 
Does it drive you crazy? Does it just drive you nuts? Yeah, me too. So when I used to work in retail, we used to have to always face our bills. And so I just got used to facing my bills all the time. I obviously have slacked a lot uh, since then because I really don't deal with cash a lot due to the fact that, you know, most of my clients don't use cash. They use big things like loans and big, big, huge things. So credit cards, you know, whatever. So we're gonna count this out with me guys, okay? So we're gonna see how much we're gonna put towards the debt. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 55, $53, guys. We, whew, I think there's one in there that's not right. Oh, there's a couple. <laughs> oh, it's late at night, right? What is going on with me today? This is driving me nuts. Um, so, yep, see, I didn't even face it at all. I just went for it. So 53. So we're going to put this in the bank, and this is going to go towards our Victoria's Secrets bill. So hopefully by next month, we will have Victoria's Secrets paid off in full, Southwest paid off in full, and Starbucks will start working on that one next. So if anyone has any questions or would like to see anything, please let me know. I know we kind of did a couple videos in here, like I did cash stuffing, we went through the debt stuff, I showed you what I'm doing for my deposit. Um, this is real life, guys. This is what we're doing. Um, so $200 for groceries for two weeks for three of us. We're going to see how it's going to go. Um, and then I have a little surprise for you guys too. So I do a thing called swag box. And if you look down in the captions, you will see I have a referral link. I've been doing swag box probably since 2012. Um, it's easy. It's simple. I'm not saying you're going to get rich off of it. There's nothing like that. But I like doing, you know, mindless things every once in a while. And they have some pretty cool uh, surveys that you can take and make money and stuff like that. And plus they gamify it a little bit with like bingo and fun things that you can do. I'm not saying you're going to get rich by any means. I don't do this like full time with it. I just kind of dibble dabble here and there. Um, if you guys want to see a video on that, just put it down in the description and I will show you a video on that. But... I am going to be transferring $100 because uh, the swag box turns into dollars through my PayPal. And I am going to be depositing that into my bank account so that I can pay off $100 of debt. Um, the other thing we were doing too was I was looking at my Capital One accounts. Um, we have a lot of savings. And so what good is the savings if you're not paying off debt, right? So we have about a $4,000 uh, emergency fund currently, which I am very fine with. I don't want to go under that. Took a long time to get it that way. So I'm going to leave it at four grand. And then anything I get above and beyond, I'm going to go ahead and put, like really seriously knock out this debt. Um, with that being said, I'm going to sit outside and look at the stars tonight. Um, after I'm done with this, get this money in the bank, give the envelope to my husband to do some groceries. Hey y'all, I did go out walking. Look at those stars. So pretty. What I forgot to say was like, subscribe and we'll see you soon.